Welcome to Irvin Gaming. We've got a 500 point quick game here for you today uh, with Vichy French uh, against Australians. Uh, these are a French commission that I ordered uh, from Addy Bailey from Lost Patrol Miniatures, whose BEF you would have seen in my last video. Uh, yes, the only odd one out is the, <laughs> the French officer's assistant, which is painted by me and hence based different and is very clearly Northern U Europe instead of Syria, where the rest of these guys look like they could fit in. So the entire French army, except for their free light anti-tank gun, is veteran. Veteran Hotchkiss, H39, light anti-tank gun, and uh, coaxial MMG. Veteran Medic, Veteran Officer Team, uh, Veteran uh, Infantry Squad, one SMG, four rifles. Veteran Infantry Squad, two LMGs, uh, three, four rifles, yeah, four rifles. And then free regular light anti-tank gun. These guys will be holding out in the French consulate in Syria or something along those lines. Let's go have a look at what the Australians coming to face them are. So here's the uh, Desert Aussie Army taking on the French, starting with the regular second lieutenant and his Scottish buddy here, um, armed with both with rifles, um, despite the fact that He's holding a pistol. As far as the game is concerned, the rifle is his main weapon. Um, we have two infantry squads, both regular. Firstly, um, the seven, no, the six-man infantry squad with two SMGs and the rest rifles. And then the seven-man infantry squad with one SMG, an LMG, and the rest rifles. Um, over the back here, we have our veteran light mortar team. Um which I, I quite like how I've based it because uh, this long base kind of works as two 25 mil bases just right next to each other. So it's very easy to um, determine where, where like each individual guy technically is as far as the rules are concerned. Um, we have a veteran sniper team at the back, which unlike the basing on that one, not as easy to tell, but you know, you kind of just, determine it from where the foot ends kind of it's uh i don't know it just depends how technical you really want to be with it but one works one doesn't uh, but yeah veteran sniper team and then in the middle here we have our air observer and not just any air observer but flying officer cfc lee our man christopher lee who is he runs as a veteran. He has the special rules of a tough fighter and first class target intelligence. So when he calls an airstrike, you can re-roll the result on both the airstrike chart and on the chart that determine which, to determine which airplane arrives. And in both cases, the second result will stand, even if it's worse than the first. All right, let's crack on in. Now, unfortunately, uh, a little bit of uh, the footage has gone missing where we explained what the mission was. Uh, so the mission is that the French officers are starting in the consulate building, which you can see behind the Hotchkiss tank here. And they need to be defeated by the Australians in close combat to score a win. They're trying to capture the officers, so defeating them in close combat is like taking them prisoner. If they're killed by any other means, the game is a draw, and if the officers manage to come out of the game with their lives, the French win. Uh, yeah, let's jump into turn one, and I hope you enjoy this game. So, turn one. We started with the light mortar team advancing on, taking a shot at the light anti-tank gun, uh, unfortunately missing, so it will range in on a five next turn. The light anti-tank gun then went into ambush, mm. getting itself ready for the uh, next thing that happened. Yeah, this squad of Aussies, which was much bigger when seven they first came squad. on. Yeah, they were they were a seven-man squad, yeah. and they have since dwindled down to two. Uh, three were eliminated from the light anti-tank gun ambush. Yeah. So it flipped into fire when they came on and uh, hit and was able to get three of them under its one inch template. So that 25 centimeter shell mm. 
I don't know if they actually had a high explosive shell for this gun in real life, but... Um, well, as far as bolt action is concerned... They do, and it killed three blokes. Perhaps perhaps one of the shots was an armor-piercing shot that just penetrated through three guys. Mm, a knows? big collateral shot. <laughs> there it is. Um, then after that, Flying Officer Christopher Lee came, ran onto the table, got into hardcover, yeah. and then... He just chilled there. Yeah, the remaining... My remaining orders were all... Downed because they're all reserves. So then, but your 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 infantry squad did try to shoot. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they did yeah, try so to they... shoot the French up here. Um, unfortunately, they at that point in time had a ton of pins. Yeah, they had two pins from the ambush, and yeah. given cover and movement and etc., they were hitting on sevens. Yeah, um, the French shot back at them, mm. killed two more. Killed two more, added an extra pin. Made However, take the squad yeah, break. It's on the squad break, rolled snake eyes and yeah. managed to remove all the pins. Yeah. And thus, these two, showing off their Aussie spirit, are just fighting right through. <laughs> now a small man team. Yeah. And of course, remaining French units. Also had to go down. down. And the officer who's inside the building, he's, it's just yes. two blokes with pistols, so... Yeah, I don't know if you can see, it's too dark in there. Yeah, it is. You need to turn on a light. <laughs> Alright, on to turn one. two. First dice out of the bag was the Hotchkiss here. Uh, he came on and shot machine guns at the Aussies over here, but he didn't do anything to them. Um, Gosh, I can't remember what happened next. Did you come on? Uh, next was the Light, the light Water team. Yeah. I tried to take my shot. Missed again, so we'll be ranging it on a four next yeah. turn. Uh, then the next turn after that again was, it was, was basically just Australians for a while, yeah. Yeah, uh, these boys advanced up into heavy cover, took some pot shots, didn't, didn't make anything hit. of it. Yeah. Um, and then the devastation came with these two yes. guys over here. Then, uh, well, uh, well, Christopher Lee. At some point, I, I don't remember what order it was. Yeah. I, actually, no. I think Christopher Lee was first. No, because the mortar was definitely first. Chris may have been second. Actually, no, I think... No, Chris was first, because I had to get that... Um, oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Before everything else, just in case he died. So, yeah, he targeted the tank. Yeah. Um, which... Got hit by the airstrike, a fighter bomber. Yeah. Um, and it took four... I don't know if you can pins. see the pins. That's... Yeah, uh, it took four. Yeah, no damage, no other... You know, but four effect. pins is still but pretty yeah, four bad. Four pins is... Yeah. Uh, very much shook. Like he's probably gonna have to rally this turn. Mm. Um, These yeah, squads came on. This squad came on, killed one of the um, anti tank boys, yep. but they are surviving. Yep. Uh, the, the SMGs nailed their shots and the rifles completely missed everything. It was yeah. terrible. <laughs> um, and then speaking of riflemen who can't shoot, the officer team came on and missed their shots. Yep. Uh, your sniper and then, came yeah, on and missed his shot. Sniper came on, couldn't use the scope, took a pot shot, missed. Yeah. And then the French, um, well, the anti tank gun tried to do something but failed their order test. Uh, the submachine gun squad failed to come on, so they're still off the table. Maybe an ace in the hole, who knows. The medic tried to come on, we ummed and ahed about whether he could heal, and we decided that he could, uh, but he failed his role anyway, so the anti tank team still just has one guy. And then the French up on top of the building. Uh, plastered into this squad, but only killed one guy. So that's the end of turn two. All right, so first dice of the turn came to my officer team, and I used the snap two to mm. also get, um, since they were within six inches, to get yep. another die out for that team. Uh, the officer team moved up, took some shots at yeah, the... Yeah, remembering the light anti-tank gun was right here. Yeah, they took some shots, um, got a hit, but didn't kill. Yep. Um, but... The infantry squad took care of that. We is it blood, blood, yeah, curdling, blood curdling charge? charge? We used one of the British characteristics um, because both the Australian ones would not be useful yeah. for this scenario. And you're early war Australians anyway, so. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, uh, I say Australian ones within the Commonwealth. Yeah, the Commonwealth uh, characteristics. Thing, thing things. Um, yeah, so we charged them, beat them up, and yeah, came out scot free. No, no, the Scots over here. Oh, well, I mean, they are Scott free, so, because they're away from uh, Yeah. And yeah, just basically didn't really move too far. Yeah. Afterwards. Um, Three inch. Yeah. What was... I think the French there? came next with this squad coming on the table, the uh, SMG squad. 
No, I think I think my sniper. Oh, went your next. sniper went yes. next. Yeah, my sniper was next. I took a very accurate shot. Took out the LMG back here. Yep. Um, and then the French came yeah, on. Yeah, then it was the French. Yeah. So then the five-man squad came on, popped shots into this squad, killed one. Yep. Then the medic ran across, well, not ran, he had to advance because it's a field, dense terrain. Uh, dense terrain? Hard terrain? I don't remember the proper not term. hard terrain, I think it's... The one that lets rough you... Rough terrain? Rough terrain, maybe. The one that lets you advance. No, <laughs> Whatever that one is. Rough slash dense. I yeah. I like it works. Uh, so he came into there just to get closer to guys in case people start dropping like flies over here. Mm. Um, yeah, I think then it was me for a bit. I it, think... Yeah, it was... Basically my lads. Before I got another one. My lads up here. Who did they shoot? They uh, shot. At... They shot someone out. They, they shot, shot the sniper. sniper. They shot yeah. my sniper. Didn't get any kill. No. Didn't even hit. Sevens. Um. Yeah, it was sevens to hit. The officer has recognised the danger to himself and left the building to get far away from the advancing Australians. Yep. The Hotchkiss rallied and lost all its pins. Yep. And then um, it was my three remaining dice. So yeah, which was up the back. My here. mortar has now began ranging in on the squad on the top, and it missed its first shot, so we're hitting on a four next turn. Yeah. Uh, these two boys, the uh, two true blue Aussies with their Aussie spirit, have advanced further up. Now yeah. hiding behind this rock, and uh, took some shots at them. Got got hits, but did not kill. Yeah. And Christopher Lee, he's running out in the open. He. Oh, he's a daring man. He's right out there, but yeah, he wants that officer. Yeah, and that's the end of turn three. So into turn four, uh, the Australians have two, possibly three more turns left to kill this dude. Let's see how they go. Okay, so end of turn four, we got a lot that happened. Um, um, it was starting with me once again. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Your blokes um, tried to tank assault. Formally, yeah. Here. The formerly um, four-man squad. Yeah. Uh, they attempted to take assault. Yeah. Uh, fell short of causing damage, so yeah. we had to basically just retreat back to here. Even with their anti-tank grenades, they couldn't get through the armour of the Hotchkiss. Yeah, they couldn't They fell back. A, couldn't find a slot. Yeah, two-inch fallback, which really hampered them, because they have to maintain that one-inch gap from the Hotchkiss, so they were basically all just lined up right here. Yeah. Hotchkiss unloaded into them at point blank, killed yeah. one. Then these boys, the SMG squad, finished, the other three. finished them off. The medic then ran up over here. Um, uh, then I think your officers. It, it was a no. It was a oh, your mortar. Me. My yeah. mortar took a shot, ranged in, killed two of them. That's true. Yeah. My sniper took a shot, missed. He got a bit too uh, confident now. Yeah. Uh, then. Uh, then I took shots with these guys and didn't hit anything. Yes, you tried Passed the order test, didn't hit so, anything. Yeah. Someone was tried sevens. to hit this squad when they were back. That's right, yeah, there. you were pinned all heck, so yeah, you know, being sevens. Um, the officers, yeah, I think. Officers ran all the way here. Yeah. This two man Aussie spirit team moved up to here. Keeping in mind the officers were back here at this point in time. Yep. They took shots at this team, killed yep. someone. Medic attempted a revive. A revive because but, the bolt action rules need rewriting. Yeah. And didn't get it. Anyways, thankfully. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then your officer team. Yeah, the officers came up. They tried to pistol some pistol shots into these blokes. I didn't quite realize how close Christopher Lee was. Thankfully, he was outside of range of assault because of uh, you only get a six mm. inch assault when jumping over an obstacle. He was like back here at this point. Yeah. Um, so he has moved six inches, and meaning the officers are in a lot of danger next turn, especially because their pistol mm. shots didn't do anything. Also, note Chris Lee, yeah, he advanced up to here after the yeah. officers made their play, and he took a pistol shot here and um, got a hit, pinning them once again, but yeah. no kills. No kills for good old Christopher Lee. A very tanned Christopher Lee. <laughs> uh, He's been on that sun for a good while. Turn numero five. Where is it? It's next to the four. Yeah. Yeah. So first dice on Francais, the officer mm. team. <laughs> uh, to, they did the meme of the French and retreating. I hate that mm. meme because you know the French were actually incredibly brave and fought to the last man. But um, the French soldiers, that is, not the French politicians. Uh, <laughs> but they retreated to here. Um, I think I got the Hotchkiss next. 
Yeah. Which uh, fired high explosive point blank into the, the officers. officers and hit, but didn't get any kills. I yeah. Believe. Yeah. The officers are too strong for that, at least. Yeah. Um, but the officers weren't too strong for the follow up assault, even though they did kill two men in that squad. Yeah. Um, uh, light mortar team. Yeah. Uh, once again, uh, took boom hit, boom shot. Killed hit. one. Did, yeah, no. killed. Ooh. Did it kill one? No, the, these guys. No, it didn't kill. One. Yeah, didn't kill. Yeah, Snug took a shot, missed. These guys hopped the fence, took shots at them, killed one. Yeah, Christopher Lee hopped the fence, took a shot, hit, didn't kill. They were on eight pins. They and rallied, then rallied, and now they're on five with uh, a terrible rally roll. And the medic, ideal. do not forget the medic. He just moved over here so he could be close to the officers just in case. Yep. Yep. That's the end of turn five. On to turn six, which could very well be the last turn. Okay. Uh, so the turn started with French, I believe. Yeah, the officer team. Yeah, they jumped out over here. You'll notice they're sideways. They're dead. Mm, um, spoiler alert. Yeah. So they jumped out over here to get out of that uh, charge range yep. from Christopher Lee and the Australians. I think I got the next dice again, which was these uh, these French who tried to shoot Christopher Lee but failed their order and went down. Yep. Then I believe your mortar. Yeah, my mortar uh, fired and finished off the rest of the squad on the roof. Yeah. Absolutely torn to bits. Yeah. Um, Killed two, last guy failed his yeah, squad break. Yeah, failed the squad break, as predicted with... he needed, You needed to roll a two or a three. Yeah. Uh, a very difficult roll. Yeah, very much so. Uh, sniper team attempted to shoot those boys who were downed. Got a hit, not a, not a fatal wound. Yeah. The Hotchkiss reversed up. Um, couldn't get shots over here because at the time the medic was in the way. Yep. So he took a shot at the sniper team, but he needed sevens to hit and just couldn't get it. Mm. Um, and here. Well, hold on. Then the medic moved. Oh, yeah. Medic did a small movement. Yeah. Which actually, it is sort of important. It even though it could have changed the outcome. Of I don't that. even think he needed to move. He was still in range. I think he was still within six, but I made sure he was. Yeah. But then, the final move of the game. Yeah. The true blue boys moved up to the fence. Yeah, these two boys were at the start of the game. I wiped their squad out, and then I took my attention off them. I thought they were done for, but... Mm. Uh, they weren't. The the true blue Aussie spirit shone through, and considering considering the constraints of time, they had to they had to act, and they chose to eliminate the officer team, and yeah. they did as such. They did as such, causing a draw. The medic attempted to heal, but uh, he was unable to revive. Didn't get him. it. It's a it's a bit of a waste of thirty points, to be honest. Mm. Um, I'm like, if he doesn't like if heal he, anyone, it's a waste. Yeah, like if he hides behind a 12-man infantry squad, bit different. Mm. But, yeah, kind of a waste in a 500-point list. But, hey, I needed him to get to 500 points, so. Yeah. So, yeah, there ends your game. It is a draw. Yeah. Congratulations. A well-played draw, I would say.